In this example, we're being given the same data we were given in the previous example. The car traveled a distance of 78 miles, and it took a time of 1.2 hours to get there. We're also being asked to calculate the speed. This time, however, we're being asked to calculate the speed not in miles per hour, like we got in the previous example, but in meters per second. So we want to calculate the same speed, we just want to calculate it in different units. Well, we use the same equation again, speed equals distance over time, but now we have a problem. We need our speed in meters per second, but the data we have are miles and hours. So in order to get the speed in meters per second, I'm going to have to convert from miles to meters and from hours to seconds. You learned to do this back in module one, but it's been a while, so let's review. Let's start by converting the distance. We want to convert 78 miles into meters. To do this, we take the number we have, 78 miles, and we make it into a fraction by putting it over one. We then multiply that fraction by one, but we need to express one in a very particular way. We take the conversion relationship we were given. In the problem, we were given that one mile equals 1609 meters. So we'll use that conversion relationship to express the number one. Since one mile and 1609 meters equal each other, I could put one mile over 1609 meters or 1609 meters over one mile and get a fraction that's equal to one. So I'm going to replace the one with a fraction made from our conversion relationship. Well, which fraction do I use? Do I put 1609 meters over one mile or one mile over 1609 meters? Well, think about what we want to have happen. We need to get rid of the unit miles and put in its place the unit meters. So if I take 78 miles over one and I multiply by a fraction that has miles in the denominator, miles will cancel. If it has meters in the numerator, then meters will be left over and I will have successfully converted from miles to meters. So I need to multiply by 1609 meters over one mile. That way, miles cancel, and I'm left with meters. When I take 78 times 1609, I get 125502. So 78 miles is the same thing as 125502 meters. Okay, well that gives us our distance in meters. So let's put that up at the top there. The distance is 78 miles, but it's also 125502 meters. Either expression is correct, just two different units. Okay, we're not quite done yet. We need to get the time in seconds. After all, we need to know the speed in meters per second. We have the distance in meters, but now we need the time in seconds. So once again, we're going to have to convert. We take the number we have, 1.2 hours, and we put it over 1 to make it a fraction. Then we multiply by one, but we express one according to the conversion relationship. In the example, we were given the conversion relationship that one hour equals 3,600 seconds. So I need to use that conversion relationship to make a fraction. The fraction will have to have hours in the denominator because hours need to cancel, and seconds in the numerator because we need to be left with seconds. So I will have to build the fraction 3,600 seconds over one hour. That way, hours cancel, and we're left with seconds. When we take 1.2 times 3,600, we get 4,320 seconds. So 1.2 hours is the same thing as 4,320 seconds. So once again, let's put it up there. So we now know that the time is 1.2 hours, or 4,320 seconds. All right, now we can finally solve the problem. We're asked to calculate speed, which is simply distance over time. Now that I have the right units, distance in meters and time in seconds, I can just plug them into the equation. Distance is 125502 meters, and time is 4320 seconds. So the speed is 125502 meters over 4320 seconds. All right, so I take the numbers and I group them separately from the units. So I get 125502 over 4320, and then meters over seconds. Okay, when I take those numbers and divide them, I get this big long number, 29.05138889. That's way too long. I'm going to round it to 29.1. When you take chemistry, you'll learn that there are all sorts of rules about rounding. It's called significant figures. But let's not worry about that for right now. Let's just take 29.05138889 and round it to 29.1. 
What are the units? Well, the units are meters per second. So my answer then is the speed is 29.1 meters per second.